Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here with the final episode of the 72 hour sardine challenge. If you are not familiar with this series, there is a playlist link for the other episodes in the description box below this video or to the side or to wherever and uh, it will also be on the end screen. So long story short, I did Dr. Boz's 72 hour sardine challenge. Please go watch the other videos so I don't have to explain to you what this is all about. I started Sunday at 5 p.m. and I ended yesterday at 5 p.m. Now yesterday's video was uploaded, was recorded before 5 p.m. so I didn't know uh, how many cans I was going to eat or anything like that. What I ended up doing is on Wednesday, which was yesterday, I ate my first can of sardines at 2.30 and then my last can at 5. And I was good. I was like sufficiently full from 12 cans of sardines in four days. And I just didn't care to eat anything. Did I eat some butter? I did eat some butter, but I didn't have any ground beef. I certainly did not have any more sardines. I was done. Uh, it doesn't mean I hated it. It just means that, it, you know, it was quite a bit. And I realized that I actually did four days of this challenge because when I started on Sunday at 5 p.m., I had not eaten anything except butter so far that day. And then I had three cans of sardines. So that means I really did have that day as a full sardine challenge day because there's no set time to start, you know, like what time during the day. And I, since I didn't eat anything else, and I did eat butter because I'm doing sardines and butter. And you can go watch my previous videos to, again, understand why I'm doing that. It's because I'm a high-fat carnivore. Really, it was four days. Today, Thursday, I did not eat sardines. I opted for ground beef. I was so anxious for it and it was so yummy. But I am going to try to have sardines every day. I haven't yet today. I did not want to start this day with sardines. I had my ground beef. But I'm thinking maybe one can per day. I might be able to increase it, especially if I'm hungry and I don't have any other things that I feel like cooking or whatever. But I'm just going to try to like go down to one can of per day and I, I do chill them and I might have like two sardines when I get up and then two before I go to bed and then just eat all my regular high fat carnivore stuff in between, okay? Now, I'm in a hurry because I'm unexpectedly going out tonight, supposedly. Um, there's my text letting me know, hang on. Yes, my friend Teresa decided she wants to go out tonight. So happy because uh, my new thing is that I'm not forcing myself to go out unless I can be with a friend that I know I can dance with. So that's happening. It's a Thursday night. I already have plans for Friday night with Jeannie and uh, most likely Angie too. All right, so all is good in my dancing world for the moment. Okay, um, yeah, so I have, to, I have to be quick. Was there another thing that I wanted to tell you um, before I talk about the weight uh, issue. Uh, I feel good. I feel great. I never burped up sardines. I would absolutely do this challenge again, but like I said, uh, sardines, herring, mackerel, anchovies, and salmon are all very good for us, supposedly. I haven't done too much reading into it because I just do stuff and then I decide for myself and then I do research if I want. But I feel pretty good and those sardines were very filling. I know it was low calorie. Low calorie, the cans of sardines are only 100 calories. Am I thrilled that I ate just 200 calories worth of sardines and some butter? Certainly not a full stick yesterday. Um, no, because I don't like restrictive diets like that. I am not out to lose weight. I'm out to heal things that carnivore can do for me. I'm out to see if sardines might help me in some way and uh, weight loss is just a side effect of carnivore. But as a jump start, to me, any food that you eat that completely satisfies you and makes you not want to see any other food ever again in your life, <laughs> I feel like it's doing something. Because if you ate 100 calories worth of a candy bar, I don't know, like a Snickers, I don't even know how, much, how many calories are in a Snickers, but 
If you ate 100 calories worth of a Snickers bar, I can promise you you're not going to feel really good and satisfied and feel like you just did something wonderful for your body. So in this case, with the, with the sardines, I'm going to forgive the fact that it's low calorie plus I was adding my butter, so I was getting extra calories, so I do feel good about that. Okay, the weight. What happened to my weight? First of all, it's hot in here, <laughs> and I'm trying to get ready to go out and to do this. I still have to do my hair and my makeup. i got to change, um, and uh, I'm rushing. Okay, so August 1st, I weighed myself, and I ended up letting you guys know in a sneak peek update that I had lost nine pounds since my last 10 pound update. I lost a hundred pounds once upon a time. Not, I don't remember exactly when, I think it was in April. And then I've been doing 10 pound updates every time I lose another 10 pounds. So I was at 120 pounds lost at the time that I weighed myself August 1st, three weeks ago. So in three weeks I lost nine pounds and I let some of you guys know in a video that I lost nine pounds and I only had one pound left for my next 10 pound update which brings me to 130 pounds lost now. And I told you guys it could be a week, a month, whatever because I don't limit what I eat. I eat what I want to eat. And it happened that when I uploaded that video I don't know, like Big Brother was getting ready to start, so I got some carnivore snacky kind of things, pepperoni. Um, yes, it's processed. It's still carnivore. Considered carnivore in the carnivore world. Uh, cheese, a couple bags of shredded cheese. I even bought stuff to make dip, and I bought pork rinds. I didn't eat any of those things. Uh, you know, I was just like having fun, and I knew that that was going to make me gain weight, and it did. It made me gain four pounds. I discovered that when I weighed myself for the uh, sardine challenge. So on Sunday, I weighed 213. 9, 11, 12, Correct. 213. And I was okay with that because I know dairy, like cheese and things like that, I'm gaining weight. Or at the very least, I'm going to stay stuck. And I was okay. So I said, well, that's another reason to maybe do this challenge. And yeah, it worked for me. So I was at 213. My goal weight for the 10 pounds lost is 208. So the lowest I saw was 209. I needed one more pound. I gained four. So now I was five pounds away from my 208 goal for the next 10 pound video. And when I weighed myself this morning, I weighed 208. So I lost five pounds. I lost uh, one pound for each of the first three days. So I started on Sunday. So Monday I lost a pound. Tuesday I lost a pound. Wednesday I lost a pound. Today is Thursday and I lost two pounds. So, okay, I was like, how come that's only four fingers if it's five pounds? This, the little pinky was two pounds. Pound, 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 two. That's, that's five pounds. <laughs> So I'm going to have that video too, but I can't do it tonight. So it's going to be a day after I actually lost. If I have time tomorrow, it could end up being on Saturday. I don't know. I'm busy tomorrow. Got all kinds of stuff to do. So I, uh, I'm very pleased with the sardine challenge and excited that I'm, you know, 208. I know that, you know, not everybody's going to be watching this video. So I'm still doing a separate video for the 10-pound loss because I want this to be in the sardine category <laughs> on my playlist and the other one I want it to be in my um, weight loss category. Uh, but anyway, I think that's all. I think that's all I want to tell you. I know I'm rushed. Ask questions if you still have questions um, uh, about the sardine challenge, but only ask if you've watched the series. It's only five parts, only. For real, if you ask a question that has been answered in the video, I'm simply not going to answer it. It's not to be mean, it's that I don't have time to answer things that I already said in a video. If you're commenting on my video about this challenge, the very least you should do is watch the challenge before asking questions. That's just the way I think. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye.